Hey, this is uh, Lithian from the MPC forums.com, aka Big Man, SoundClick, uh, com backslash Big Man Productions. If you want to check out a couple of my beats. Anyway, okay, so uh, <coughs> doing a little tutorial for people who uh, maybe don't know about MIDI, uh, how to set up a MIDI um, handshake between a keyboard and a sequencer like the MPC 1000. Talk about chords, you need a couple chords. You need some one uh, quarter inch chords, two sets of quarter inch chords, okay? And MIDI cables. Now, a little thing about MIDI for a second. MIDI is not uh, audio data, okay? Now, oh, and another thing too. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't get a, an advanced MIDIologist degree, so everything I learned, like, you know what I'm saying, was on the fly. And I just did it really, you know, like experimenting and checking out the forums, like reading things online. But so, you know, like people were like, oh, clearly he made a mistake when connecting port F6 into port QG. Uh, so, so don't none of that, you know. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> MIDI cables. Uh, this is the standard uh, five-pin MIDI cables. MIDI is not audio data; it transmits messages between um, between machines. So, like play messages, stop messages, note on, note off, things like that. Two of these, I recommend different colors because um, you'll know, you'll see why. But because the out goes into the in, or you can just take a a standard black MIDI cable and label it in out. So first thing you do, you need you know a keyboard, a sequencer, and a mixer. Now I have this mixer connected through the main outs to these two speakers. Um, we'll go ahead and plug the outs of the MPC to two of the ins on the mixer. Okay. Outs. So this is to send the audio data. This will send the actual sound. This is the outs of the cord to the ins of the mixer, which in turn go to the outs of the mixer, which in turn go to the speakers, to your ears, to your brain, back to your brain. Okay. So this is working. Turn the MPC on. The MPC is still loading. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we'll load up some sounds here from und hard drive. Okay, we got some sounds here. There we go. I'm gonna mix these two sounds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna snare. Okay, so we got make a quick beat here. I'm not making anything fancy, obviously. So that's just like standard beat. Now we got three tracks, one you know, all tracked out. I could label them, yada yada. The first thing I do, I turn the program off on the next track. I turn the MIDI to one A. So that's basically there's 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 four MIDI parts out here. There's one and two in and A and B out. So I'm telling it to go to A1. So first thing we do, we take the out of the MPC and we go to the in of the micro port. Bam! Yes. This is how machines make love. <laughs> and then we go to the out of the cord to the in of the MPC. Bam! Mini handshake. So we got this machine here. 
playing with this machine now. Set the MIDI track four, one A. Turn the program. Oopsie. Oh, I got the track changes. Hang on, there we go. So we go to track one, track four, one A, and then we just go ahead and start recording. Okay, so if we go into step edit, you notice that this MIDI data, I can actually change the events, I can move them around, I can change the velocity, you know, pitch everything. I go into grid edit, you can see it on grid edit, uh, you can see the MIDI data, so you can manipulate it. And the great thing about MIDI is if you don't like that sound, you can audition different sounds. So um, what's really happening is the MPC is sending the signal to this machine saying I want you to play these notes at this velocity at this time and this is sending you know audio data where and this is sending audio data as well so this is essentially controlling this machine so that um, ladies and gentlemen is a standard MPC or sequencer to keyboard MIDI handshake and with that, you know, you can control um, multiple keyboards at once. If your keyboard is polyphonic, you can send, uh, which means you can play multiple voices at once. You can send multiple MIDI messages um, through one particular keyboard. For example, the chord Triton back here. Um, it, you can send up to 16 channels of data. It has a 64 voice polyphony. Um, so you can send, you know, 16 different voices, you can play a, a violin, lay it over with another keyboard, you know, play another, some piano, play bass, um, and so that is a MIDI handshake, so I hope that helps.